All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and update the Dolphin XP 005. So we're going to go to mk3.com, you guys. Okay, that's our machine, the Dolphin XP 005. So we're going to go we're going to go to downloads. As you guys can see, next to MK3 price says downloads. We're going to go ahead and click on the downloads. We're going to scroll down to where we see the X horse symbol right there x horse upgrade right next to the skp 1000 okay as soon as you open this page you're going to see two links make sure you download and install both of these links to the x horse update tool and the drivers okay so i already went and downloaded the drivers for the dolphin xp as you can see xp 005 this is the file for the drivers we're going to go ahead and open it okay we're going to go ahead and open this file that says x horse xp 005 dolphin drivers then we're gonna open this file that says X32. And we're gonna select Windows 7, okay? Windows 764.exe. If you have an XP, you will go ahead and se select the last one. We're gonna press yes to install these drivers. We're gonna press next. We're gonna accept. Okay, the agreement, and then we're gonna press next. So after you're done installing these drivers onto your, onto your computer, you're going to be able to go ahead and use the upgrade kit to update your XP005 Dolphin cutter. I'm going to go ahead and click on the link that I was provided at mk3.com. As soon as the file is downloading, I'm going to go ahead and open the file. Okay, let me go ahead and close this. So as we look into our, our files that we opened up, we're gonna go ahead and select the bottom the bottom file that says X Horse Update Tool. And all the way in the bottom it says upgrade kit dot exe dot. We're gonna go ahead and open that. I tried downloading this kit from another website, but it says no internet connection. So right now it's finishing installing the upgrade kit for X Horse. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and it's, and it's telling us that it's found the new software version if we want to upgrade and we're gonna press yes. Okay, so it's gonna start to download it. So go ahead and just please wait. After it's done downloading, we're gonna be able to select our device. So when you purchase your Dolphin key cutter, they included one of these cables, mine is purple. It's an information cable. As you can see, one end goes connected to the key cutter. Another one goes into my laptop. This is how the end looks on one side. Okay, and the other side is just a USB. Okay, so our software is almost done installing onto our laptop. After it's done installing, you can go ahead and wire up your key cutter to your computer or your laptop whatever you're using okay so after it's done downloading we're going to go ahead and select our device okay if you if you look all the way on the bottom it says dolphin one we're going to go ahead and select dolphin one and right next to it it says upgrade version so the version that we want to upgrade to is the 1.4.6 so let's go ahead and turn our key cutter on it's going to say bios on top we're going to plug it into our laptop and then we're gonna go ahead and select upgrade. Okay, so you guys can see there's some green little check marks flashing. There's five. That means that your key cutter is being upgraded to the newest firmware. So just wait until those little green dot, dots stop flashing. and it is filled in so now we can go ahead press ok we can go ahead and turn off our key cutter disconnect it and we're ready to use a new 1.4.6 firmware and that's how you upgrade to the newest firmware so thank you guys for watching 
if you guys like this video and help you guys out make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel if you guys want to see what kind of firmware you guys have on your max key tool go to update and you can check your firmware okay to see if it's up to date so until next time you guys take care all right guys quick little tip so when you guys are cutting these double-sided honda keys you guys this is hd 103 okay so the way you got to do this you guys if you is if you guys see this the shoulders this key has actually shoulders you guys what i mean by shoulders it has these two edges sticking out you see those two edges well you're gonna cut this key you guys this key you cut from the shoulders up okay let me show you what i mean by the shoulders up so this is the key that we need hon 58 r and as you guys can see right here in the picture it tells us to measure from the shoulders to the tip okay let me show you guys okay can you guys see that those are the shoulders so when you go to your machine the shoulders are behind this line right here if they are not behind this line right here it's going to cut your key incorrectly because this is where your machine measures from your machine's gonna measure from here this way okay let me show you guys again okay and it tells you so just pay attention to the clamp type and this little red line in the beginning of the key when you see these pictures these red lines are gonna tell you where you're gonna measure from usually you see shoulders to the tip shoulders to the tip so if the key has shoulders you're gonna measure from the shoulders to the tip usually when it's usually when it's a high security key it's gonna be from the tip down to the shoulders okay because these keys don't have any shoulders but if we look at this hu66 blade from volkswagen it does have shoulders okay so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut from the shoulders to the tip okay so that's where it's measuring from the shoulders to the tip and when we find that out how we go back we go to volkswagen because a lot of people are having trouble with these keys you guys are having trouble cutting these keys you guys are asking me oh why doesn't why isn't it cutting right well you're not you're not aligning the key correct that's why it's not cutting it correct so if we look at the hu66 you guys you guys see all the red lines where it's telling us to measure from if we look at if we look at our key it's telling us that we should measure from the shoulders to the tip okay you see that it's telling us clamp c from the shoulders to the tip okay so let's look at our clamp from the shoulders to the tip so just make sure that you're always looking at the clamp type option and, and you're looking at the little arrow where the where the yellow arrow is pointing at you're looking at that because that's where you're going to measure from you see from the shoulders to the tip and it's also going to tell you what line so if you look at this one it's going to tell us clamp b right before that little line okay so just make sure you have the right clamp this m2 clamp will be for high security keys okay like this and this m1 is usually going to be for a double sided okay so just make sure that you're aligning your key correct it's going to tell you if it needs to be on the, one of these lines and it tell you it needs to be one of these lines and i have the yellow thing if it needs to be from the shoulders to the tip it's going to be pointing to on the shoulders to the tip okay so just make sure you, you you guys have your right position once again you guys if you guys are having trouble with these machines make sure your position is correct also you guys when you guys are decoding a key okay you're always going to go by vehicle database you're never going to go by universal key duplication you're never going to use this when you're, when you're duplicating a key the only time you use this is when you don't know what kind of vehicle it is you don't know what kind of key it is okay that's the only time you're going to use this but i usually don't duplicate my keys from here that's how you guys end up breaking probes i usually go by vehicle database i look for my vehicle okay a lot of you guys are not are not decoding correctly either that's why you're not cutting the keys right let's go back to our double-sided honda key hon 5 r okay make sure it's aligned 
how it's asking us to. Okay, we're gonna put in our already cut key. Okay, so we have our original key that our customer gave us, and we have it measured up from the from the shoulders. Okay, you can see the shoulders are behind this line right here. So now we have our we have our key that we selected. Okay, H O N five eight R from our vehicle list. Okay, we went to all key blank. H O N five eight R. We put it on the way that the clamp told us to. The yellow arrows pointing from the shoulders to the tip. We're gonna press OK. So we're gonna go ahead and decode. Okay, it's telling us once again, you guys, that we should have our key aligned from the from the shoulders to the tip. Don't mess with none of the settings, okay, you guys? Leave the settings just the way they came. We're gonna press continue, decode key, and it's in the decoder key the way that it needs to be decoded. From the shoulder to the tip. Okay, decode success. And there's our key. All we gotta do is take out our key that's already cut. Put in our blank key from the shoulders. So the tip, remember what I told you guys, behind the line, and then we can go ahead and press cut, okay? All right, you guys, so that was just a quick little tip with Mikey's Automotive, you guys. If you guys are interested about my Jiggler keys, go ahead, email me, L-I-L-R-O-X-X-001 at .com. If you guys have any questions, okay? Till next time, you guys, thank you guys for watching. Take care.